OC here. Chuku. Scott. Uh, we just got off watching um, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, the highly anticipated sequel to the original Black Panther film, and of course the next installment, the final installment in phase four of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is it? Is it the final one? It's yeah, the final it's the final one. one. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so we're at the end of phase four and we have just watched Black Panther. We're gonna go into some spoiler review, but just off the top, what are you guys' initial, just like overall general thoughts of the movie? Okay, so I think for me personally, I think this is like an enjoyable watch for the movie, but I feel like I wouldn't want to watch it again. Interesting. Mm. Like my personal preference for like MCU movies, this is like mid tier in my opinion. Interesting. That's yeah. a very interesting. But thing. We'll, we'll get into it later. Okay. Um, overall, besides the joke I have for this movie is it's basically about uh, the whole premise of this movie can be solved as brown people need black people to destroy white people, but <laughs> and they're using water to threaten black people, being like, if you don't, you know, if you don't join us, Holmes, we're gonna use water to destroy <laughs> drown you, drown you. But besides that whole silly premise. I, I really enjoyed this movie. It really, maybe it had very low expectations, but it really surprised me. And I honestly think it's better than the first Black Panther. Interesting. So, so you went into Ooh. it with low, wait, you thought it was better than the first Black Panther? In some ways, overall. Okay. There are aspects where Black Panther is better, but uh -huh. overall as a movie, I think it's better. So I, you think, went in, I think Black Panther 1 is better. Okay, we're gonna, go, we're gonna go, we're gonna have an interesting discussion. <laughs> yeah, we are. We, so you went in with lower expectations. Very low. Cause Did you go in with low or higher expectations? Low. Okay, low. interesting, yeah. interesting. Yeah, we were uh, talking about this yesterday, or at least some of us, because um, our friend had Roger had high expectations. Uh huh. So he thought the movie was neutral because of it. I had low expectations, so I thought the movie was good overall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I went in with a little bit lower expectations, just because of the way that Phase Four has been going. Yeah. Um, all this time. And then after Doctor Strange disappointed me so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after Doctor Strange, and I was expecting a lot for Thor Ragnarok and Gore the God Butcher. I was expecting a lot from that movie. Not Ragnarok. I said I meant Love and Thunder. Yeah. Thor <laughs> Love and Thunder with Gore the God Butcher. I was expecting a lot from that movie, but then the disappointment kind of. So I wasn't necessarily expecting a lot, but I like you. I, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really. I thought it was really good. It it, it wasn't a perfect movie in in my estimation but um i i really enjoyed it i i had a lot of fun with it and it was yeah. an interesting way for them to sort of memorialize chadwick Boseman oh, yes. and the role that he played in the marvel cinematic universe i think they did a great job honoring him and doing that for sure yeah, yeah. although there is a part of me um and i guess we're going to more spoilers where it's like I would have wished they did one CGI, you know, Chag Mitt Bozeman thing, because oh. it felt weird when she was inside that realm where she was seeing, spoiler alert, Killmonger in. And, oh, yeah. and it's just like, as cool as it was to see Killmonger and there was a story element to it, it'd been nice to see a Chaz Mitt Bowen CGI being like, no, sister, you know, you have to remember where you come from, all that. I thought, I wish yeah. they did that, because it just, to me, the way they handled the memorial it was like come on show a little picture of a chasmin bowl and get a stunt deal or something it just seemed too it seemed too off screen i think me. that with that i mean i would imagine there would be a lot of behind the scenes like red tape with something like that so i mean it, it's possible that i can just imagine that like family being low-key uncomfortable with that and them not wanting to do that as opposed to like um fast and furious with uh what's the guy's name um that died where he his brothers kind of filled in for him in yeah role, but they did but, like cgi on the face um but yeah i don't know if i don't know if this is the, the exact same situation but it, i i get what you're saying that, yeah. that that kind of moment could have been cool um because they did the same thing with layla and rogue one rogue one yeah yeah but they did that <laughs> with um young leia no well yeah even if it's young leia it's still it's like it was yeah the <laughs> because they either even if i don't even know if carrie fisher had died yet yeah she she was dead before she rogue was, one was she was dead before rogue yeah one? okay so but but yeah the, the realistically they wouldn't have even had her play her young version of you know 40 yeah. years ago so yeah. um so yeah i think it's i think it's different with with this situation 
um it's probably a safe thing that they that they stayed away from that because i can i can just imagine like twitter being like how dare you guys use his likeness to do this and like money and it's like i can imagine that they're like hey maybe we just like stay away from the potential controversy yeah i can like understand that. why they made the decisions they did but i do agree with you for the movie's sake like it, it would have probably made the movie better i personally was of the opinion that they should have recast t'challa mm. and I think that um, had they done that, had T'Challa been a character in the movie, I think the movie would have overall been much cleaner. Interesting. Yeah. But they decided to go the route that they decided to go. They decided to retire that version of the T'Challa Black Panther character. And I think in doing that, they did the best that they could with all of the pieces that they had um yeah okay okay let's let's go into details about this because like again for me even though i would have preferred to like in an ideal world i would prefer them to have a continued chichala story on the other hand i feel like and you can make the argument because he died i feel like the emotional weight you can really feel it more with this movie because i got more of a like i've never got any emotional feels for most of the marvel movies since maybe spider-man so I felt like because You're talking about no way home. Yeah. Okay. So and that and that was because of certain scenes, but like yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but like this movie, I feel like the Chachala stuff gave more emotional weight to the movie. You're right. As well as it also it helped a lot with um because one aspect that's a little bit weak in this movie is I feel like um Sherry, who's the the, the uh, sister sister, right? Um, I felt like her actor, although she does a good job of what she has she's not as strong as an actor and you mm. can feel that and since it's focused on her you can kind of feel that it's a little weak on the other hand because this movie is about the death of Ch or the death of t'challa is a big aspect to this film you can definitely see when they move it to different characters it almost becomes like a scene where even if one character is driving it it's more reasonable that they're driving it because it's playing off of the whole death of t'challa aspect as okay. opposed to if it was just her driving it and you just have this weak actor trying to drive the movie i so I think it did help in some sense of the movie. I mean, I think it's it's also like goes to do because like Letitia Wright, who plays Shuri, her a lot of her scenes are with Angela Bassett, who's like an Oscar winning like like Hollywood yeah, like train like she's that's fair. She's like when when I think most people who are like going along with her they're gonna kind of <laughs> if they're not at that level it's gonna be like glaringly obvious yes that you're not at that's this fair. oscar worthy level that is of fair acting, so because that one scene where she was like talking about like i lost my child yeah. i lost my like that scene i felt yeah. that scene. i was like whoa <laughs> that's like, yeah that Angela out of nowhere was like, i was like Jesus, yeah i mean that was good. in the trailer and i feel like that was like one of the best parts in the trailer yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, she did a great job. I think even um, Namor, his actor, did a really good job, in my opinion. I, yeah. I, I really liked that performance. And then um, Lupita Nyong'o also was was really good. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Honestly, I I don't know. I I feel like she was a fine actor overall. Like Shuri, I just feel like her character was not built up enough to be the main character. And I feel that. And that's what she sort of was in this yeah. movie. Yeah. And, and I, f I didn't feel there was like much to her character. Mm -hmm. It felt like uh, like we were just given this supporting character and all of a sudden we have to follow them. And mm -hmm. and there's n not much history behind it. There's not much like emotional attachment to this character for me. Mm -hmm. And and it, it, it felt like that throughout the movie. I, f I feel like every time I saw someone else or like the villain, for instance, mm -hmm. like it captured my attention. Mm -hmm. And then whenever I saw that one scene with Killmonger, I was just like, yes, <laughs> like, like, that captured my attention. Yeah. You know, it's just like, yes, I, I, I want to listen to everything he's saying. It just is. This is like awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it felt like I was drawn mm -hmm. to to what was going on. While sometimes when it was just like Shuri and someone else, it was like, okay, um, I'm just watching. I'm interested, I guess. But like, there's not that presence there on screen that yeah makes me feel like. I really want to pay attention, you know? I, okay, so this is where I, slight, I guess I have a slightly disagreement here because for me, maybe I can agree with you in terms of this goes back to performance where I don't think she was strong enough to carry it in that case. But 
as far as what they give me material, I feel like there was a lot. In fact, one of the biggest themes I saw in this whole film was this idea of like motherhood, right? How, how much mothers have an influence on you. And you saw that connection where when she meets the other girl, it's like they're both smart scientist kind of people. Mm -hmm. Or with um, the villain where it's both like, they both want to protect their family and they understand that theme of revenge. Yeah, there's a lot of parallels. So there was definitely were a lot of strong parallels within the movie, which made me feel like it makes sense why she was the more driving force for this film. But one thing I also do agree, and one thing I felt lack of her character as well was that I also didn't feel like she drove until her mom died. I didn't feel like she was driving the plot. I felt like it was the the mom that was driving every decision. Like, why are we talking to this woman? It's because the mom said it. Why are we doing this? Because the mom said oh, yeah. it. So I felt like that was a little bit of a weakness towards the writing where they want to focus on this character, but this character is kind of being exactly. passive exactly. until the mom dies. And that's when she has to be active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the only thing I will give it to that. But besides that, I do think they did give a, enough for us to <clears throat> at least connect. And I felt like through the movie, it wasn't until the ending where it's like, you can finally really connect with her, at least for me, mm. at the end, that I felt yeah. connected to her after seeing that whole journey. Because I think the ending was when she had like the strongest like stuff, like right after Killmonger, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but also like, um, like you were saying, the, the queen drove the story in the beginning and then she, she died and and now it was up to her yeah and that felt like it felt like there wasn't a strong main center focus of a character driving yeah it yeah. felt weird i'm, I'm it, it felt weird in that moment being like oh so she's now like the ruler of wakanda <laughs> okay so that's another uh something that's weird because the way they framed it is like they uh -huh. still called her princess but isn't they she did now the, they were still calling her so princess. i'm like isn't she now like the queen or the king and yeah it's like, who, who's i don't but, know but it's like it's real because like we felt like she was still just the princess even though she's like narratively she's the queen now yeah but maybe that's because of you know they just didn't do as much as um they should have to yeah. um, prepare that character and build that character up yeah into that role and i know and i guess this is just like i don't know if this is a critique or just my my own um opinions about what i would have preferred mm -hmm. um but i feel like i feel like shuri's character wasn't prepared to be the black panther and ruler of wakanda i okay so this is funny that you say that because like on one aspect i do agree with you on that on the other hand i feel like that kind of played within the movie like i think that was kind yeah of, it was sort like, of an aspect i don't know if it's a critique <laughs> if it's like a general like a, a valid critique or if it's just like oh this is just what the movie did and the movie did a, a good job exactly but it's just like the movie did something that i didn't like i don't know i can't really I, I maybe I need to sit with it more. Maybe I need to watch it again to just like figure out if this is a valid critique or not. I think the problem is they should have been more explicit about the whole like at the end when they when she they they call her the princess because you can say the fact they call her princess implies that they don't have a ruler. They yeah. they need to they they didn't address that. I think the problem is they address okay what's going to be the ruler thing and that could be like a they can leave a cliffhanger or discussion yeah. about it. Yeah. Then we well, can finally get an understanding. Well, I feel like. At the point they were still calling her princess, like that's before she became Black Panther, and sort of like took control, you know. Yeah, no, but even they, after they said afterwards, like when, when she the, dropped down as the Black Panther, was like, oh, it's the princess. Well, no, even that when uh, the ending where they do that whole fighting with uh, what's this? I forgot Name that one guy or the waterfall fighting at the end because they're supposed to do the waterfall fighting. We thought Shirley was going to be there, and then what's his face comes in oh, and he says, yeah, the princess yeah, yeah. is not here. She's yeah, doing yeah, her yeah. other thing. So they still addressed her as the princess right, even right. after the whole thing. But I, but I mean, like in terms of who's in control, like I feel like at the point she became Black Panther is like it's she's in control. Yeah, one hundred percent. She's calling all the shots. Yeah, she's basically the the queen at that point. Yeah, even yeah, though even but, though they are calling her princess. Yeah, right. I think yeah, she is functioning as the queen. It's it's just that. And I think part of the reason why I felt like she wasn't deserving of those mantles was because of her interaction with Killmonger. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that it was Killmonger who came to see her. And well, actually, Killmonger said, you chose me. Exactly. No, no, no. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. The fact that it was Killmonger that she that she Best chose scene to in see. The movie. You chose <laughs> I, would, I would think that like. I would think that in the narrative of the story, it would 
that that kind of experience would prove her to be um unworthy of the mantle yeah it, it, you know what i mean like yeah. i mean uh, she she was so embarrassed by it she didn't want to tell anyone <laughs> yeah uh, but she she but then it even revealed that she like she kind of fully embraced killmonger's yeah. philosophy yeah at that moment in the film yeah so and i guess that like at the end she had like a turn a change of heart like right at the last second like yeah. you know just in time um for us to not you know go all that go, go all the way with that but i just felt that that kind of disqualified her from being worthy of the mantle of, hey, hey, it, it makes her better Black than Panther. Spider-Man. Yeah, but <laughs> Does it? but but I think he was the, gonna kill Green Goblin think, without but we have Toby. To also, take in the context <laughs> that they're preparing for war, so to me, it felt like more of a war decision than it was like she's this like, um, r like the permanent ruler kind of thing. But at the same mm. time, obviously. <clears throat> You know they do the whole bloodline thing so it's yeah yeah it's yeah and i think that they kind of left it open-ended at the end yeah. intentionally with mbaku coming into yeah. challenge for the throne so it's yeah. possible that mbaku next time we see wakanda mbaku's the the ruler of wakanda but this yeah. is a disney film i'm pretty sure it's gonna be the woman who's gonna be a ruler. <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> i think i think shuri's gonna live in haiti with um oh yeah that's fair that's with, fair they kind of mentioned Nakia. That so hold on for, i i want to go back to the spider-man thing I, I mentioned just just because i literally thought of it at the moment okay but i feel like it makes so much sense because like tom holland spider-man wanted to kill green goblin because he killed his mother yeah right? shuri's doing the exact, exact same thing, same thing yeah. but, shuri, but like shuri actually yeah. stops herself yeah, but exactly. i think it's shuri's mainly decisions aren't going to affect world powers <laughs> like that the, the biggest the, the biggest thing with um Mbaku's counsel of Shuri in that moment when she came down with the the Black Panther suit was like, "Hey, I get, I understand that your mother was like is like worth the world being burned down, but she wouldn't want that for you because yeah. like the, your decisions are not the same decisions as like Peter Parker yeah. in New York. <laughs> yeah, that's, but that's what I'm that's saying. That's what your I'm saying. Your decisions are going to affect fair. nations. That's fair. Yeah. So you can't just do the same yeah. thing that you know Peter Parker is gonna. Do. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why I think Shuri is like has more responsibility yeah. in that sense. You know, she yeah. has them, but she doesn't act like she has more responsibility. I mean, again, she was going through that thing with her brother and all. Yeah, that, yeah, so yeah, yeah. There's an there's an explanation for it. Yeah. It's just I don't know if. See, yeah, this is where it's like I don't know if it's like a fault of the movie or just my own expectations getting in the way yeah that's that's a reasonable thing but one thing we should talk about because we kind of ignore it is the whole villains these uh i don't know what they call talocans them. talocans like yeah. how did we feel about them as antagonists what do you thought about the goal as far as what their objective was i kind of i kind of wish they had more than just one character driving the talocans oh, okay i i mean like he did a great job but it would have been better if they showed us more of like oh who are the important people in Talakan who are the people close to the king like build up those characters instead of just making them like really good fighters mm -hmm. that's true I mean they, they were cool but like <laughs> we didn't get they, to like yeah there was not much character to them you know yeah I, I definitely do agree on that I definitely do think we like that part when we got to see their world it was like a small little thing like I wish they really built upon their world and got to see their way of life and whatnot I honestly thought they were going to uh what's it called like i mean i'm glad the way to defeat them was really cool but i thought they were going to like maybe use some of their technology against them or something kind of thing i thought they'd play off of that we didn't get that at all but i guess another antagonist you can say that was small was the uh you can say the u.s government or whatever that yeah. was kind of in the movie um that um the lady val yeah that was weird to me like the Does things that, that happen at the end, I think so. Uh -huh. Like when he, uh, when she handcuffed him, and stuff like that, or was about to. Yeah. It just felt weird. It was just like, why? <laughs> like it felt kind of dumb the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it was. It, it it brings up an interesting point about Wakanda, which is the whole idea that it, it has weapons and people want to use it, and then you don't know who you should trust or whatnot. Yeah. I honestly thought they were going to connect when they saw that the queen died i thought that was their information okay something's going on these are we can't blame wakandans for this so i thought they were gonna work with them but it just seemed like after that they're like okay they just kind of they didn't care. care at that point so that was a little weird for me on that yeah thrunt. i mean i think the politics wise 
that could it makes sense and that could be like a great story you know mm. like that's a great plot point for sure but i don't think they really like other than them trying to find some vibranium and also that uh the, like mercenary team yeah. that that tried to steal it mm. other than those two scenes like nothing really came it started the movie sure but yeah. like every other interaction involving the the u.s people it, it seemed irrelevant for the most part yeah other than i, f I feel like it's probably partial setup yeah it's a partial setup country. thing yeah but going on to that my only complaint with the villain was that I, I, as much as i do agree with like okay let's work with uh, wakanda to you know stop these uh uh, people from the up i mean people basically as people right because you know he doesn't trust the people in the surface land on the other hand my only issue is like if you destroy wakanda who's gonna work with you like that was my i was just confused of like what's gonna happen yeah. what's the plan if you okay. kill them namor's <laughs> logic is terrible <laughs> like yo let's join up if you don't join up with me we're gonna take you guys out it's like why are you trying to war with literally the second, if you consider yourself the first most powerful nation, right? The second most powerful nation to to force them to be your, your ally. It, it makes no sense. It's like, why don't you just be friends with them? You literally just had a great scene together. Yeah. Be friends, establish rapport. Like, and then if you feel like the end scene where he was like, oh yeah, they're going to attack them. You know, yeah. the US is going to attack Wakanda, whatever. Yeah. If you feel that that's true. Why don't you just wait until that happens and actually be friends instead of killing the queen? Yeah, exactly. The killing thing made no sense. I thought what would make more even more sense was like if they had something where they could mind control them, right? Or something like that, where if they had mind control, it'd be an interesting thing where it's like, you're already going to join us or are we going to force you to join us with mind control? Either way, we're going to go destroy the surface land. But for them to be like, let's go kill the people that we need as allies. Okay. So when I heard that first, I'm just thinking to myself, okay, if you can just kill Wakanda, you might as well just kill the surface land because well, they're the strongest. I mean, we are skipping over the part of Riri Williams being like the kind of driving force between the conflict between those two, right? Because the the whole thing that starts this is that Namor wants to kill Riri Williams and then once um Wakanda gets her they're like no we got to keep her safe so I think that's kind of the the thing that starts the whole conflict um but you're still right in that it didn't necessarily have to escalate to where it escalated yeah. to um <clears throat> at least in our in our estim in our estimation because the way that it was explained it was like hey i gotta show you this beautiful land and all of these people and to protect all of them i gotta kill this little girl <laughs> like... well to me it's not just that it's just like my my although i do agree with that why well, kill her i don't know why her out of anybody else it would make more sense somebody who actually was attacking the water land to kill yeah, but that's yeah. a whole different story but my this is just the end goal of like you want like at the end of the day the whole reason why you're joining these people is to talk to surface land but to threaten to kill them or to actively kill, like what's to say you do kill them what are you going to do then who's going to protect you like these are you you need them basically you need wakanda so it's like even if you kill wakanda that's my problem it's like what happens yeah. after okay. that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with you <laughs> do they need wakanda because considering they almost wiped out what he he almost single-handedly <laughs> wiped out the leaders of wakanda wakanda i feel like they don't need wakanda i feel like they're good on their own true but they, they didn't have a black panther at that time so yeah there's that yeah but like at, at the same time he didn't know about like whether or not they were gonna have a black panther yeah like i'm guessing he assumed they didn't have one because mm -hmm. sure was like oh yeah they didn't like they let's surprise them they don't know that we have our protector back mm -hmm. and stuff like that mm -hmm. so at the time he still wanted their aid knowing they don't have a black panther mm -hmm. true meaning he wasn't sure if there would eventually be one right mm. but he still wanted their support so but at the same time it's like you wiped them out so easily why do you need their support like you guys are good considering how he was saying oh my armies are huge blah 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 what, what why why do they need their, their help it doesn't make sense i mean 
seeing his weakness you kind of it's like they can only go so far in the land so. <laughs> they can't <laughs> they, they can't <laughs> conquer anybody who's in land <laughs> like, there's only so far so they're in the desert basically everyone in egypt yeah. So Moon, Moon Knight would be fine there. There's no way, there's they, could no get way. To, uh, there's no way they could get to Las Vegas. Okay, that, that, is, that is a good point. There's only so far. That's a good point. That's a good point. So yeah. I think that's my thing. And that's why I was just curious, like, if anything, yeah, they should have just worked with certain surface land that makes or sense. something like that to balance them out. Yeah. But okay, yeah, I, 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 yeah, that's right. That's a good point. So, yeah. I didn't think of that. But I mean, like, why war with them at all? Like, yeah, that's, yeah, I don't, yeah. I it's like... Just take over all the beaches. I don't know. It's just yeah, chill yeah. out, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. I think um, one of the other things that I was going into this movie kind of afraid of, um, but it was kind of obvious that they were doing this was just making Shuri the Black Panther. Um, yeah. Throughout. Uh, I was hoping that if they did it, that it would work. I don't think it worked for I, me. Well, her being Black Panther? Yeah. Um, because here's the here's my thing. Going into the movie, I'm like, okay, you have a good number of potential candidates in characters that we already have for black for the Black Panther. Mm -hmm. You have Nakia, who's like an assassin spy. You have Okoye, who's the general of the Dora Milaje. Mm -hmm. You have Mbaku, who's already a ruler and a great fighter. But then and then you have Shuri, who's the scientist. Like she's not she's not the fighter. She hasn't been built up to be a fighter mm -hmm. in this world. Mm -hmm. And you have all of these other candidates mm -hmm. who are like trained, skilled fighters. It's like, why are we in the in the decision making in the storytelling? Why are we giving the role of Black Panther to the the character who's just supposed to who is just the 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 scientist character who's like the the tech person? It didn't I think it's necessarily mainly necessarily make sense to I think me. it's mainly because of tradition. Because I don't because like Black Panther has always been in the the royal bloodline, I feel. Yeah, for the most part. But that's why that's why though. we see all that stuff with like T'Challa when he first or not first when he becomes the Black Panther again in the first movie. Um, he sees all the ancestors who were the Black yeah. Panther at some point. I don't think though. I don't know if it's like if it's direct lineage though, because the fact that somebody like Mbaku in the first movie was able to potentially challenge, challenge T'Challa yeah, and but, take away the the power of the Black Panther. But I think that shows that, hey, there's a potential for somebody outside of his direct line to take out to take that power. But that also means if Mbaku won, he would have been the king. Right. So right. that makes him royalty at that point yeah but it's not the same lineage it's not the same lineage but it still makes him royalty and i think that's yeah. the issue like if if nakia becomes black panther is she now the queen i mean she technically was <laughs> the queen a, a queen that's true that's true. That, that, that's fair that's <laughs> like, fair if we're talking if, about okay, that okay, kind let of... me ask a different question <laughs> <laughs> technicality if, if okay if okoya took the um Black Panther role, would she be the queen? You know what I mean? Yeah. That, I think I don't that's think, the issue. You, you know? don't, I mean, not necessarily. I think that, um, you know, in Civil War, Black Panther or uh, T'Challa wasn't the king yet when he was still Black right, Panther. Right, but he was the prince. So. Right, he was the prince. Yeah. But, you know, I I just think that they had a, uh, it narratively didn't make sense for those characters. And then even in the story, it didn't make sense for Shuri to be to continue to have that mantle with the black so, panther mantle yeah like like what i mentioned earlier it's like the her being unworthy of that role and then in the just like outside of being in the movie it's just like you had all these other candidates who seemed more um fitting fitting for for that role and so just i don't know it, it, it it's tough because like on the other hand on the spectrum it's like obviously the i i personally thought it would have been cooler if the black panther was like like they had like like that's their new suit like it's like they're a whole army of black panthers i was thinking that would happen but apparently mm -hmm. it was not going to go that way it was just going to make her but even if they were going to go that route you know it you know it'd be weird for although it would be a cool twist where it's like she's still the main character but they have one of the soldiers be a black panther to kind of represent it mm -hmm. at the same time it makes more narratively sense that the the person who's having the most 
emotional issues, all that kind of trauma and all that to be the one to have the suit. And I agree, fighting wise, it doesn't make any like she's not really a warrior. So there's a little bit of a disconnect with that. On the other hand, she built a technology. She's more of a tech person. So there, there, there's a leverage within that. Word. Yeah, it's like Iron Man. Yeah, basically, she can be like another Iron Man with the Black Panther suit. So, yeah, yeah just make everyone Iron Man. I mean, that, <laughs> that was like the movie. Honestly. Yeah, like at some point, it was just like, wow, everyone. Iron I was Man. not expecting like three Iron Mans. <laughs> basically, <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone's okay. Iron Man. Um, but as far as uh why i think this movie is better or at least overall why i think it may be a better movie than black panther because there is aspects of black panther definitely better like i do think obviously t'challa is a stronger character although i do think we were built up to t'challa so that helped with that i think killmonger is definitely a better mm -hmm. villain than a more i mean a more other than the fact that he's Namor. Flying, a more Namor. 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 yeah yeah okay other than the fact that he has a cool like he kind of reminds it's like an anti Aquaman to me. <laughs> Same time, it, I still thought it was a little ridiculous with what he's going on. I mean, like in, in the Marvel <laughs> comics, like Namor is like the king of Atlantis. Atlantis, okay. yeah. Okay. They didn't say Atlantis in this movie, but like yeah, it's Talokan instead. Yeah. So changed. It. Supposedly he came before Aquaman, so that's that's the thing about that. The character. Yeah, yeah the, the character, character came did. before yeah. Aquaman. Like Aquaman is supposedly a ripoff of Namor. <laughs> 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 I feel like that's not true, but uh, it, it, no, it, it makes it, sense. It, it, that's why he, you know, he's Native American. Aquaman's a white person. It makes sense that white people stole it out of the Native <laughs> Americans. I think they, so. I think they changed the the origin of Namor for this. They probably movie, they right? did they did yeah because he wasn't so. he wasn't um um Aztec after we talked about it yesterday I uh -huh. I looked it up yeah 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 so it's definitely different it wasn't it didn't have the Spanish origin okay. until this movie okay. so I mean hey yeah. but, <laughs> but I my my main reason why I think it's better is just because I felt well stars the fight scenes were much more better in this one than um Black Panther so that that's yeah. a definitely an upgrade were they yes. <laughs> which which fight scenes are you thinking about? I'm thinking about all, any every fight scene in this one or for comparing to Black Panther. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the only good fight scene I would say in Black Panther was the one when they go to the was it that Asian casino or something like that. Other than that, the last fight scene with like him No, was, but you're forgetting the fight scene with T'Challa and Mbaku. And then you're forgetting the fight scene with T'Challa and Killmonger at the like before oh the the end of the before movie. the title of the King. I mean I guess yeah. okay to be fair I guess those ones have more so in the heart aspect yeah I'll give it that but uh -huh. choreography aspect it was pretty I would say it's a little weak especially the final one with the but then I'm I'm trying from from this movie which fight scenes did you like a lot I I like I mean I like the I enjoy I enjoy all the I enjoyed all the fights they had in general. Like I like the just the choreography, even the part when she was fighting what's her face was fighting the um when she's fighting the other the second commander dude when they both were and it's like to me I liked it because it's like the anime power layer scale. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. So I like that. Yeah, and then I, I even like the way they strategically defeat the person where it's like, okay, we noticed that they're like water is their thing. We uh -huh. gotta get them around the water. So I just Maybe it's just the way they take it. Maybe it was just it was done more strategy. So I kind of like that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's a strategy versus uh, heart. Because I will admit <laughs> that Black Panther did have a little more heart. Yeah. But I like yeah. that aspect. I felt like, um, what's it called? Black Panther, that casino scene to me felt unnecessary. Like it was cool, but I feel like it really didn't really play much of a role. Mm -hmm. I feel like the movie here was more cohesive. It was more like you think this movie was more cohesive in the sense of like every. I felt like things were more. What you're talking about with the fight scenes? Well, not just not not just the fight scenes. I'm just uh -huh. talking about just in general in terms of the story. Aspects. I think that from I mean for me, I felt like one of the reasons why I I still have to think about this, but I think right now I'm leaning more towards. Um, the first Black Panther being better than this Black Panther mm. um, is because I think that that first Black Panther story was clean. I think it was just a much more, for me, a much more cohesive story. Whereas with this one, I think that they were just trying to do a lot mm. in this story that kind of made it a little bit too much. Mm. I think if they if they cut the fat a little bit, it would have been a much cleaner story. Um, but they had like the whole Talokan Wakanda conflict. They had the... Um, T'Challa being gone, mm. emotional aspect. They had the whole U.S. government yeah. and all the other world powers trying to steal from Wakanda aspect, yeah. and they, they had all of these different moving parts 
Uh, they had they had the whole like uh, Nakia side story going on. All these different moving parts. They they kind of like which it felt like they were trying to do a lot in this movie, and they did they did a lot of it. They they had it. They did a good job, but I just felt like it was it was a bit too much for one movie um, that they were trying to do. I mean, but that was that was how I felt. I, that, that's fair. That's a fair point. I guess for me, the way they were doing it, because I felt like that theme of like the mother kind of thing, like you can kind of see it mm -hmm. within these characters, and like there's sort of an aspect of it. I feel like they all, to me, it's looking it from Sherry's point of view. You can almost see how they all Shuri? relate. Oh, Shuri. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you can see how they all relate to her like it's like okay this person has a relation to her because of this thing this person kind of relates to her for that thing so it's like i felt like that was more connected versus with um chachala we didn't really get that as aspect as much mm -hmm. not to mention i did feel more i didn't feel much of emotional strong i mean besides the fact that it's black panther and we finally get a kind of like this cool popular black fantasy sci-fi movie i didn't really get much of a strong emotional aspect to the film but with this one i actually did so i i that's why i think this movie overall um to me was a little bit better okay. but you know there is definitely again there are stronger aspects like if i if i had to say like again killmonger is a strong aspect of black yeah, panther yeah, yeah. there are stronger aspects of black panther but yeah. if i'm looking at it from the sums of its holes like based off of everything that's given to me I think this movie did, this movie better, did better, better for you. Yeah, overall. Okay. Story-wise, I think Black Panther 1 is just, like you said, cleaner. But also, like, the the things between T'Challa and Killmonger was what, like, the story was all about, I feel. And and they did a good job with that. It felt more focused. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it felt more like it's a conflict between these two and, and, their, and what they're bringing to the table in terms of what they believe in, you know? Mm -hmm. and And that felt it felt like a good story uh and this one was definitely more of like an emotional like going through like you said following shuri but also it it i wish they did that from the very like beginning in terms of giving her that attention and also like framing things around her yeah versus like doing that switch with the queen and and all that stuff yeah i mean that's true the, the i will admit the driving of it is definitely they could have made her drive a lot but i guess for me it was there was so much even when the mom was looking for shirley right it still was centered around her we're still getting to know her story we're still seeing her connection so i guess that's why i kind of overlooked that aspect but i agree with you on that although i don't feel like as much as i do like kill mark as a villain i don't feel like chichala's opposing view was really that strong if that makes any sense i felt to me it was more like Kilmar had this vision for what he think Wakanda should be. T'Challa was just kind of like deciding where he should be keen or not. And then he decides to be keen. And then he's like, yeah, I don't agree with your vision. It wasn't like a, well, actually, Killmonger, I actually think this is why the world should be that kind of thing. It's well, more I think, well, I, I, I rewatched Black Panther like a week ago. Okay. Um, I think that the whole, pro, the, the, the difference was T'Challa is learning how to be king. Mm-hmm. And he ends up, and then Killmonger basically is an extreme version trying to pull him towards a better direction. Mm -hmm. And I think it works in that T'Challa, T'Challa learns that, hey, maybe we should, we shouldn't be, you know, secret, Isolating we shouldn't ourselves. be isolated, we no, should okay. open up to the rest of the world. Um Mm -hmm. because of his conflict with Killmonger. I think it was it wasn't necessarily like a passive thing. I think he T'Challa learned from from Killmonger like the good stuff and then he like didn't okay. take on the, the bad stuff. Okay, that's a fair point. That's um, a fair point. One of the things that I want to we haven't really talked about before we end um was the character of Riri Williams, Ironheart. How did you guys feel about her character? No lie, when I... I feel uh, like she got sidelined pretty hard at the end. She did. No lie, when I first saw her, I thought that was Kiki Palmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was like, is that Kiki? But I'm like, no, she's too young to be <laughs> she's Kiki. She's too young, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, no, I think she was she was fun. Yeah, she, she was a fun she, character. She was, she was definitely useful. I feel like she was the token uh, non-African character, because it's like you have to have like different kinds of blacks. So you have <laughs> this person's like the, the American the street hood, like... Dang man, what kind of be doing good? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so I feel like she was there. No, she was great. She was great. I think that. Oh, that's um, another thing I liked about this movie. I feel like the comedy was way better here. Oh, okay. 
the, the entertainment factor was much uh -huh. more better. I felt like Black Panther, although Black Panther wasn't trying to be a funny movie, mm -hmm. some of the jokes like the "What are those?" Like oh, that, that was yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just that they not tried, age but well it didn't really work all. out well. But point is, yeah, uh, yeah. I think um, overall, she was a good entertainment thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I think um, I agree. I think that she. I feel like. And that was another aspect of the movie, the whole Riri Williams storyline that, that like kind of added a little bit to the muddiness of the movie. Um, where it was like, it felt like there's there just a lot happening here and they're doing too much. I think her character fit in narratively, mm. but I think with you that it felt like they should have given her a little bit more. more. Yeah. Um, At some point, Neymar would just forgot about her. She's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, oh, they escaped. And she didn't seem that effective against the telekanians but i guess i mean she's a college kid yeah so i don't know how effective we want her to be um she, I mean, she built an iron man suit she built an iron man suit, suit that worked a little bit <laughs> <laughs> um seemed pretty functional overall yeah you know? and everyone's sharing the same ai <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. but i mean, I, mean you know, I, I i'm excited for more riri Williams in the future. Yeah. So. She did great. It, it's yeah. just story wise, I, I I wish her character had more uh, towards the end. It, it just felt a little like she got timeline for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One more thing, because I know this video is really long right now, but uh, T'Challa has a son. Yeah. Like, yeah how do you yeah. feel about that aspect? My thing is like the reason that I wanted them to recast T'Challa was because I want a continuation of the character of T'Challa. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that this was a cool way of doing that while retiring one version of the character, but then just bringing up another version of the character. So in this world, I'm I'm cool with it. I, I like that that's a thing. I, I don't know if we're gonna like wait 10 years until we have like a fully functioning Black Panther T'Challa <laughs> character, yeah. which kind of sucks. But um, but hey, if, if that's what it is, then I'm cool with it. Teenage Black Panther? Teenage, Teenage Black, Black Panther. Panther. I guess. Yeah. Um, and I know that they're, it seems like they're gearing up for a Young Avengers. I don't know if he's old enough to be. <laughs> yeah, that was the, the question. Because, like, supposedly it makes sense if he's six. Because then it makes sense that, you know. Yeah. It's like the Dragon Ball Z story where it's like before. Go 10. Yeah, basically before <laughs> someone disappears, they had a kid. And then we never saw that kid until now because there's yeah, a time yeah, skip. Yeah. But the same time, the way the actor, I don't know who the actor was, but the actor looked older than six. Like he looked oh, like he kid. was, probably, yeah, the kid looked like he was like nine. So at first I was just like, why does this make any sense? But then my friend explained, oh, remember the blip? That was like a year. That was a thing. And then it was like a one year time skip, which I felt was weird because the way they're promoting this movie, they're like, oh, we're going to have a time skip. But it was only like one year. Like, that's not really a time skip, but yeah, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, you know, you know, enjoyable film. Definitely one of the best, one of the best movies of phase four. Yeah, for sure. yeah definitely. definitely yeah 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 for sure <laughs> one of it's one just of. that this and no way home is <laughs> is it is all shang chi that. was pretty good shang chi is Shang-Chi. pretty good yeah shang -Chi. Shang chi those those are the three best movies of phase four yeah um yeah, I, yeah. if i had to put it in order it would be no way home black panther and then shang chi i agree with that order yeah but, that yeah. And then Doctor Strange at the bottom. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, Love and Thunder at the bottom for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, know. I was just Thunder. so disappointed with Doctor no, Strange. No, Eternals is at the bottom. No, Love and Thunder is worse than Eternals for me. <laughs> well, really? Yeah. Well, okay, that's oh, going to be a different That's a, yeah, that's a, that's different, a different, different discussion right there. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this yeah. spoiler review. It was super long, but, <laughs> but we had a lot to say. Yeah. And, and that sort of in itself says how good the movie is. You know, there's just so much to it. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. So hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.